What is going on everybody, it's Skills here, and today I am showing you guys my five tips that I use when facing these behemoths. Now, I created a video, I wanna say on day one or day two of launch, and the game has been out about two weeks now, right? So the game has been out two weeks, and the more I play this game, the more I learn about this game, just like any game that you play, right? So I wanted to do a nice, easy tips and tricks video to show you guys some of the things I use in the game. Now, if we look right here, there is a behemoth right in front of me. And most of the time, there's either one or two skill points, plus some kind of vanity item or a weapon blueprint. Now, here I have not selected them. And most of you know that I could probably just use my cloaking spray and run right by him. And he would never even see me, right? But in this video, what we're going to do is we are going to fight him because we want to show you the tips and tricks on how to do this. So the first tip we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the skill tree because the skill tree has a couple perks and abilities you wanna unlock. The first thing we wanna get is the rocket launcher. Yes, the rocket launcher is the number one thing that we do wanna unlock. This is gonna be great for knocking out those behemoths. We also wanna get sensor hack. This is gonna give you plus 10% damage to drones and that works towards the behemoth. And we also want to head over here and grab this EMP grenade because these are gadgets and this will literally stop the behemoth from you moving so if you get in a situation where he's shooting at you and you throw that at him you won't have any issues and the final perk i would recommend picking up is rolling thunder this is going to be great if you're going to use a sniper rifle it gives you 20 percent weapon damage and plus 20 percent damage to drones when you are using a sniper rifle and since i like fighting drones from distance and being more tactical this is great for me the class that I always run is Panther because of the cloaking spray. This is great for spraying yourself before the initial engagement with the behemoth. Now, in my quick menu, I like having the EMP ready, cloaking spray, and then of course, the rocket launcher. So prior to engaging with any behemoth, you wanna use your rocket launcher because that's gonna open up the initial weak spots. The blue weak spots, there are three, and all you have to do is destroy all three weak spots, and you're able to do this without the behemoth ever moving when you initially hit them with that rocket launcher because when you do hit him with the rocket launcher it's going to cause him to stand still and it's almost like hitting him with like an emp the fourth weak spot is going to be this little ball that comes out when he shoots the rockets at you that is a great place to focus your damage on when he does shoot those rockets and if you're using a sniper rifle it makes it a lot easier and you're able to get away from the bombs he's shooting at you so the mortars that come in you can dodge them and when he do opens up that weak spot again you can just focus it over and over the third tip is use your emps emps are a great way for you to disable the behemoths look i'm gonna throw emp on him and then he is going to get stuck he makes that noise like he's malfunctioning and that is actually what you need to do so just keep doing damage on him if he does open up his weak point where he shoots the mortars out that is another place you can aim for but EMPs are your best friend, so don't sleep on them and use them if you get in a situation where you're fighting them close range like I am right now. Tip number four, if you are going to fight a behemoth close range, LMGs work really good. And the ones that say damage to drones work even better. So getting a really good LMG that has good damage and running that LMG that has that damage to your drones is going to help you out. Now, if you wanna fight at distance, Using sniper rifles is going to be your best friend because you can dodge the mortars and you can hit those weak points really easy. So depending on your playstyle and how you want to attack this behemoth, remember close range LMGs work really good and then for distance sniper rifles work even better. I personally like taking a tactical approach but don't worry I'm going to show you a nice gameplay footage of me fighting a behemoth face to face. Tip number five and the last tip is the loadout. So the loadout I love running with is an LMG. Now this LMG has 12% damage to drones, plus I run attack 50, and the perks I am running are rolling thunder and sensor hack. And I explained that at the very beginning of the video. Now I do run the Panther class for that cloaking spray. So we're gonna dive into a gameplay and I'm gonna show you all the tips and tricks I talked about in this gameplay. Step one, I pop the cloaking spray. Step two, I am pulling out the rocket launcher. The rocket launcher is going to cause him to malfunction. Then I focus those weak points. Remember, if you're using an LMG, this thing does have some kick to it. So just be ready to control it. And on the left side, there is another one 
So if you can't destroy all three weak points, don't worry. The second time that you use your rocket launcher, it's going to cause him to malfunction and it will destroy that weak point. So I don't even have to worry about focusing that. Now that I have destroyed all three weak points, it's going to cause the ball where that shoots the mortars out to pop up. So you can actually see it right here. It's right there at the top. You can switch to your sniper rifle like I did. Um, I personally like sniping it, but if you are good with controlling that LMG, same thing. And then rinse and repeat. You're going to want to use your rockets. If you have enough rockets, just keep using them. You'll end up getting some rocket ammo at the tower where the blueprint is. So if to the right you see there's a tower there, I can usually find some rockets there, some rocket ammo, usually at least like two or three um, sitting right next to where you pick up the blueprint. Now, if you need to go to the shop, you can always go to the shop and you can purchase, remember you can purchase these rockets from the shop. Now, once you get him weak, just keep putting out that damage. If you need to heal midway, you can, but I always like having the rockets on quick select like you're seeing me doing right here. He has less than a quarter of life, and all I had to do was finish him off with his LMG. So that was pretty easy. This was on extreme difficulty with no HUD, and it wasn't hard at all, right? It wasn't hard at destroying this. I used the loadout that I showed you. I used the tips and tricks that I showed you. The only thing I didn't really use was the EMP, but if you have, I've noticed if you have rockets, you kind of don't need to use the EMP. And remember, once you finish any of these behemoths, Go pick up that skill point, go pick up that blueprint, and reward yourself for fought. Well done. If you look to the left, so right here, um, there's skill points right here. To the left is what I was talking about. There's usually some rockets on that table. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you still have trouble beating this behemoth solo, let me know. I appreciate all the support, and I want to thank you guys again for supporting Ghost Recon Breakpoint on this channel. I appreciate it. But until the next video, Nothing but skills is out.